United Against Cancer. So my last question for you is, I mentioned that you have a very vast network, I know, uh, and you have been a board member at the Union for International Cancer Control, as well as the chair of your, uh, your city was one of the lucky cities that was chosen for the City Cancer Challenge Foundation. Uh, for us in Abuja, we have just joined the uh, Train, and we hope that uh, we will learn from your experiences of all the other cities before us. So you are also you are also the chair of the executive committee of uh, the City Cancer Challenge that is Koto Alegre. How do you use these vast networks to address the challenges that your uh, people are facing and the cancer patients living with cancer? in Koto Alegre are facing. Tell us a bit about the City Cancer Challenge and how your city was um, has chosen to implement the uh, initiative. You know, uh, uh, Zainab, that uh, sometimes to uh, have uh, in practice, in real, in the real world, universal health coverage is not easy. And we depend very much of the government. And uh, sometimes the civil society, even with representatives very strong, with strong voices, like uh, all this network that I, 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 can, I can see that in Brazil grow amazingly because we train them. They are all volunteers uh, with breast cancer or or other cancers, but they are not, this is not enough to make the government and the, the regulators to do what they have to do. So I saw, as you know, that I was a board member of UICC in the early days, uh, once uh, back there in 2000 and. 15, 16, 18, and I was really strong about uh, um, having more presence uh, in practice in the cities because the, pa the patients, the people are in cities. And I thought this idea of the City Cancer Challenge was amazing. A and I wanted to be part of it. And I started a movement with the um, current, at that time, 2018, uh, the mayor and the health secretary, all this together, and I put the hospitals and the, the, the professionals together for, one, for, for once, together to bring the idea of the City Cancer Challenge to Porto Alegre. We made a proposal to the mayor, and after that, FEMAMA was the connector. FEMAMA was the, the entity that proposed to City Cancer Challenge. So this is very, very important message to everybody that uh, uh, is listening to us because we need to have a strong advocacy movement in place. But otherwise, to my, to, in my understanding, Every time that it changes the government, this can disappear. And the civil society there involved in the whole process from the beginning can persist and can make it them ac accountable for to take the project over from one party to another party. They normally are enemies and they don't want to to bring over what was done before. So that is the one of the message. And the second message is we need to involve doctors more and more. The medical societies are not 
there yet. I'm not talking about ASCO that I'm very proud of being a member. I'm not talking about this uh, mega institutions. I'm talking about our countries. We need to bring doctors together. They are civil society too. Sometimes we say civil society and doctors. No, 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 no. We are all together. If we're, mm. we, as individuals, we don't have cancer, we are potentially going to have. So we bring them together. And this is what we did with the uh, framework of City Cancer Challenge. And we started to work together on the same table with the mayor, with the health secretary, with the public um, uh, like managers, yeah, yeah. private private and public medical professionals and the the patients and that combination of this triplet is very 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 important and the city can um, approach and from that we started to make plans together we started to do a needs assessment of the city uh, but always um, one city in a country is not so special we can take from that what's going on in the country that's good mm. what's going on in the in the numbers we, you started mm. to put everybody together to make them mm. also responsible for the change that is mm. needed so mm. that was what how it happened and then mm. three and four years later we started here the in a new NGO to be the implementation and sustainable partner of the CCAN in the city. Totally Brazilian institution called Institute of Governance for Cancer Control. Because we realized that the cancer control needs more governance, needs more who is taking care of the all the journey of the patient because you know interest is here interest is there you know we're not talking about innovation treatment expensive treatment now we're talking sometimes about knowledge about awareness about uh, 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 important what i'm going to say now prevention Mm -hmm. And in Porto Alegre, we started prevention um, movement for early diagnosis also. Prevent was preventable. Treat early mm -hmm. what is possible. Mm -hmm. And then control the disease if it is advanced. Almost yeah. half of our cancers in breast here still are stage three and four. Yeah, but it's controlled. They're uh, living with the disease. Yeah, very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that interesting background and the network and how you have been able to pull together the advantages of the CCAN challenge in your city and as beyond that, escalate it into having a sustainable structure. Like I mentioned, we have just started our CCAN, uh, the city of Abuja, which happens to be the capital city, was selected as a city. And uh, it's just now the executives and so on are being formed, the needs assessment, and they're doing all the mapping to start with. So it's interesting to see how the journey will turn out. And like Brazil, Nigeria is also a very high population country. And we hope that we'll be able to escalate it to the other parts of the country eventually. I like the idea of having a sustainable kind of, uh, a vehicle. Now, the IGCC, let me just understand, and this is probably just for me. Is it a national body or a body that is based in uh, Porto Alegre? Uh, it's based in Porto Alegre because it started here as the, the, yes. the seed. But yes. we... Uh, in our bylaws, uh, we are we and are national. Okay. okay. So, for okay. example, our idea here is to expand um, mm -hmm. uh, pilots that we do here. That is more mm -hmm. controllable. Mm -hmm. Brazil is almost uh, 
half Africa in size, <laughs> it's huge, and the disparities here are immense. Mm. Some people only go by boat to mm. to have access to mm. to uh, medicine. Uh, some people uh, are. We have floods. We have yeah. all kind of stuff here. Yeah. You know, it's immense. So mm. we need we need to do pilots, and the the um, world for us uh, implementation is mm. very very strong because mm. we have to um, to make it uh, to make the laws to be real because. Yeah. The mobilizing society and uh, when we do FEMAMA is a very strong adv advocacy body in Brazil that sits in the table, on the table, together with the legislators and uh, the big shops. We are re really well respected. We are, we've been, was, we were born 18 years ago. Okay. But doesn't mean that what we make that we have laws that is going to get to patients and, and that is the what i we need to do and have igcc igcc is not an advocacy body igcc mm -hmm. is an implementation institution that uh, will take good practice around the world bring back or start new ones, and then make results, indicators. This is governance, isn't it? Uh, and, and, and then it's, it's oh, but uh, I don't know about IGCC. Well, we are early, and this mm -hmm. uh, we are new, and this kind of uh, projects take time because it's not a one-year project as we, are, we were normally doing with uh, FEMAMA. Now, it's not only putting the the sky pink. No, we need to change numbers. We our uh, how can I say slogan? It's not a slogan, but it's like uh, what we see is like okay. what we're doing is is going to impact patients' lives. Yes, let's mm -hmm. go. No, let's go. It's not let's us. Leave it. Mm, let's leave it. Mm, interesting. You know, you've been a board member of the UICC. Uh, you spent Proud three times, I believe. Yes. And then you came back to the board. Um, so you have an, a, a little idea of the board in the past and the modern day board. When it comes to research implementation, would you, how will you rate the Union for International Cancer Control and the general reach in Brazil, or should I say more broadly, Latin America, uh, particularly focused on the support that the organization gives to uh, scientists and members of the academia. I know there are fellowships. Do you feel that the Latin American population are benefiting from being UICC members? Look, I think that we both as members this is a uh, members of the board. We are really worried about this because I think that uh, um, has to be more comprehensive, has to be more accessible. I think uh, uh, um, UICC sometimes I feel that has has uh, not a lot of hands to to run what is needed. No, well. we need we need more support. We need to help to have to put more um, subsides, more financial support for UICC to mm -hmm. extrapolate a little bit of the English community, for example. Mm -hmm. More than half of the country, of the world doesn't speak only English. They speak mm -hmm. other languages. And mm -hmm. this is still a problem. Because if you don't have a proper language, you're not applying for this and this and that. So mm -hmm. our hospital, the hospital that I work uh, for the last 
Love My Life, that I, I love dearly, that is Hospital Moinhos de Vento in Porto Alegre, became a member. And for one reason, we are offering fellowships for mm. oncology in Portuguese. Mm. Angola, mm. Goa, yeah, in India, so they're all and uh, to other to countries. Them. They speak Portuguese, Portuguese and they yeah. not necessarily need to, to go because, okay, okay, doctors speak English or they understand English, but the Thank patients you. that they are going to see don't. Mm -hmm. So what's the point? They need mm -hmm. to hear the patients and not only other doctors as, a te as teachers. So I think this was a big problem for me because I was I was so young early 20s when I went to England and I was not I am not still a native language speaker and I started from zero and they were speaking Cockney <laughs> not even English it was Cockney <laughs> I couldn't understand a word and I remember going in the evenings I was already mm -hmm. a registrar level, going yeah. to okay. classes in, in the evening mm -hmm. to understand the Cockney language because I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't understand the word even knowing English. Otherwise, I was not <laughs> be able to be there in the first place. But uh, coming back, and I think that these fellowships in the language of where people are going to practice. It's very, very important. This is something yeah. that I I count on you as my fellow in the in the board, and mm -hmm. the regional um, approach. We have regional approach for Latin America, but mm -hmm. Latin America is so huge. Yeah, so it we is. We have more arms to help yeah. the girls that are at the regional. A committee inside of UICC. Mm -hmm. I really think that the UICC has uh, uh, it's it's very very important for me. I am a member. Um, as for Mama, we be, became mm -hmm. a member a long time ago, but I serve as a board as a as a, a volunteer. Mm -hmm. with, yeah. with okay, as a <laughs> no. volunteer uh, because yeah. I believe very much in what UICC can do in the world in any part but we need to make it stronger and stronger every time thank you very much for that I hear you loud and clear I know that you are running for another term on the board you know that I'm running for the position of president-elect so I it's very useful to hear this kind of inputs in uh, other uh, tasks that is ahead of us this October well thank you so much for your time I know you have a clinic to rush to now and it's been amazing talking to you I look forward to seeing you soon in September at the World Cancer Congress before I let you go I want you to just say to us united against cancer with some passion i think uh, we here as a as we can already understand that we need to mobilize civil society to become more participatory cancer is a problem of everyone yes. it's not only to the pa no the patients and we need to focus on health um, health system to make it more sustainable for preventive we need to get people to be more proactive and increase the humanization of medicine because mm -hmm. it, we are getting shorter and shorter of time shorter of shorter of money but there is something that doesn't cost much mm -hmm. to care for patients Fantastic. Very nice closing words. Thank you so much, Myra. Um, you're still going to say United Against Cancer. United Against Cancer. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.